Hey groups, uh, good to see you all again. Um, Want to do a quick recap before we jump into questions today. Uh, over this weekend, Eric spoke on the how our words have power and how powerful our words can be um, and spoke in the beginning the, the destruction and damage that our words can have. Uh, he had a few illustrations of even looking back to history and how powerful and destructive words could have. Looking at Hitler and how his words were able to shift an entire generation of, of Germans to view Jews just really negatively. Um, and But at the end of that realizing that our words can also have power in a very healing way. Um, our words can bring life to people. Um, and when we look at our lives, how, how easily can we shift from our words bringing destruction to our words bringing life? So easily um, we can let stuff out of our mouths with all the without even thinking about it and not know the effects that it can have on people's lives. So I'm excited for uh, questions this week because I know as I've been thinking about these in my own life, um, it's really, yeah, it's really helped me think about the words I use and how quickly I say some specific things. So I'm excited for groups questions for you today. Uh, kids, uh, on the bottom of the groups questions is your own question. So I'll let the group leaders jump into those for you. Otherwise, uh, groups, we're going to jump right in. All right, question number one, and we're gonna look back at the challenge from last week. How did pray before you speak, uh, how did that challenge go last week? Question number two, what have you made, think in potentially cooking or ingredients, what have you made that you altered an ingredient for maybe the more or less, or you completely used a different ingredient um, that completely changed the way that recipe tasted? It could be good or it could be not so good. Question number three, I want you to start by reading James 3, 5, and 6, and then talk about this question. What characteristics did you read about the tongue? Um, and after you answer that, how does your mindset shift knowing that you have one of these? Question number four, um, and I want you to think about the different forms of incitement of genocide, uh, even the form that Eric used in his messages past week with getting a people group to think of other people as animals, like you have the illustration of rats or in insects, and allowing, allowing the mind to go to that point where it's like, yeah, no, I, I would get rid of those things. Um, with, those, with those ideas in your mind, I want you to answer these three questions. How do we as a culture participate in that? And where have you seen harm spoken towards people in your life? And was that damage ever repairable? Maybe you're to the point and you're realizing, wow, I don't think I should ever speak again after all of this stuff about the, our tongues being like fire and it, like, what do you do with some of those things? But there is truth that our words can bring healing into people too. So why don't you start by reading Proverbs 15 verse 30 and then answer these questions here. Where have you seen healing from words? How have words brought healing in your life specifically? Maybe someone has spoken peace or truth or kindness or love into your life. And then this last one, when has someone in your life spoken life into you, that, that new sense of life into you, words that maybe healed you?
All right, for question number six, I want you to start by reading Proverbs 13, verse 14. And when you hear the, the language of the teaching of the wise is a fountain of youth, what does that describe for you? And the last question for this um, is the challenge for this week. The challenge for this week is to refrain from sarcasm. And oh my word, am I not looking forward to this week because I am going to struggle with this. Um, it's, it's a very real thing and I hope you guys live into these challenges as we look at our words and understand the power that they have. Um, even sarcasm can sometimes come across as mean and I for one know that I've said some sarcastic things that have really not landed well in people's lives. If you guys have some time and want to go into the Digging Deeper section, um, I would really encourage that. We're going to be looking at the story of David and Abigail. Uh, we touched on that a few weeks ago in the message, and we're going to dive deeper this week on what that relationship looked like. Um, otherwise, uh, I hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you soon.